that little video of um, going from the stable area to our arena. It's a it's a bit of a walk. Uh, kind of we planned it that way, um, mostly because this was the flattest area in uh, our you know the property, and then uh, also because um, it just kind of gets them like a little warm up and cool down on the way to the arena. Uh, and it's far enough away from the other horses that they learn to uh, kind of work without other horses being there. So this is the first time that Sidro actually um, ponied off of Onyx, and he did really good. Um, he's just a, kind of an easygoing personality, uh, and he really trusts people, and um, he's a happy horse, so he, he, he just picked up on that like it was, it was not a big deal. Uh, he did really, really good with it. So ponied that little Arab down. Um, her name is Lorelai, and I was I needed to video and photograph her and Onyx, and so we decided to just do it at the same time. Um, and just kind of given the responses uh, to the horses to each other, uh, Onyx didn't seem too bothered by her, but she was much more distracted when um, Sitter was riding her and Onyx was standing tied, and so we found a little hole there we need to work on. So Onyx here, um, he's in about week, about week five of training, and uh, I was taking some stills. I missed his canter part there. Um, and so this is just kind of where he's at on his journey to becoming a dressage horse. Uh, he's just getting his start under saddle. He's a three-year-old, three and a half, um, Mustang from Lilawahi HMA, and his owner wants to do dressage with him. And so he's still just kind of learning how to carry his rider. Um, he's been working more in the big arena here. You can see he's obviously not bothered by it. Um, he's learning how to make something that resembles a circle. Uh, he's learning how to kind of move off of Citadel's leg, which he's kind of asking him to move off his leg there, and then turn. And uh, it's mostly just trying to get him to walk, trot, and canter, balanced and forward, uh, long frame. He doesn't really know a whole lot about, you know, rounding his body or anything like that. Uh, teaching him to, to hold and carry some light contact with the bit. Uh, his dressage is a little different than Western. Of course, it's going to need to know how to carry a little contact with that bit. Uh, so so it's just kind of working with him here. He just has like a simple... Um, loose ring, O oh, snaffle, it's a, a Tom Balding bit, it's a really nice bit, I really like those bits. You can see here, even just making that little bit of a circle, he's a little wonky and out of balance. And he's a little, you know, conserves his energy, kind of plods along on his front end there, he's not really sure how to bring his hind end under, he doesn't have the, uh, the stamina or the ability yet to really bring that hind end and carry himself and do some kind of self-carriage. This is the very, very beginning. Um, one of the things I really love about dressage is they take their time in developing these horses. They're not forcing them to do collection too early. Um, they really allow them time to develop. And if you compare this to his last video, you could see that, you know, he's doing a little bit more here. So I'm just trying to kind of get him to pick up that shoulder that he wants to drop. So a lot of this video is mostly for meant for his owner um, because there's a lot of like just raw footage of of a day in training where he's at. Day before, I said I went and took him out on the trail for the first time and he was great. He went out on the trail by himself and just plotted along real pleasant, enjoyed himself. He's going to be a fun little trail horse. Just has a real easygoing personality. Um, the biggest issue with this horse is going to be convincing him that Having impulsion and moving forward and using his body um, is a good idea uh, and not having to nag him all the time and push, push, push to make him go forward. You can see he's, he's got a relaxed trot, but we need, need it to be stretched and be a little bit more forward. So he's trying to figure out here, he's rushing um, and his feet are moving faster, but we really just want him to kind of stretch, um, not necessarily move faster. And uh, he's just trying to figure out, he's confused, he's not, am I supposed to canter? Uh, what am I supposed to do here? So just kind of gradually kind of gets a little rushy right there. Not sure what he's supposed to do. I think I said I went ahead and just asked him to lope here. So he's confused. He's like, I'm moving faster or if I'm loping? And I love his lope. Uh, his canter is really, really pretty. It's just this big, huge, strided 
canter. And eventually he'll be able to kind of sit down on that hunch and elevate that front end. But um, as it is right now, it's just a big, relaxed, rocking horse kind of canter. And it's, it's really pretty to watch. Not rushed in any way. He doesn't want to go anywhere fast. Um, he, he does still, like when you first ask him to lope, and I missed it because I was taking photos instead of video. Um, he does kind of kick up that hind end a little bit. It's like a, just a little hop with the butt. Doesn't kick out his legs. He just, he just hops his butt up. Um, and that's the extent <laughs> of a buck that he's willing to, to give. See, and at the trot here, he's just kind of nose poked out and head up. Not quite sure what he's supposed to do with his body. And so I was asking him to move off his inside leg. So, uh, you know, training isn't always pretty every time. You know, he's, you can see him kind of scrambling with his feet there. And he's asking him to, to move forward. He does do a nice job in that canter part, though. And he seems to want to carry himself nice in the, in the canter. Looks like the hardest part is going to be, we, we want him to kind of stretch and, and really stretch those legs out in that trot a little bit more. Um, and bring his head down and kind of stretch over his top line. So that'll come. Just kind of fun to watch. I mean, it's just slow. Good training's boring. Nothing exciting happening. Thanks for watching.